guys are entering the last week of the regular season. Um, obviously, a lot on the line. How do you stay focused with all the, you know, the ands and ifs of who you're going to play, what you're going to do? Uh, we just we just keep looking at it like we've been looking at it the past couple of weeks. You know, uh, it's a championship game coming up, just like it was last week and the week before. And um, we just uh, we're tunnel vision to the, to this game. We're not uh, listening to anything anybody else is saying. We're just trying to get ready for SMU. George, for the longest time, the college football conversation in Florida was about the Big Three. When you came here ten years ago, you said you didn't understand why UCF couldn't sometime be part of that conversation. Now you're arguably at worst the second best team in the state. Do you find personal satisfaction? Yeah, well, we've worked so hard to get where we where we're at right now. Then, you know, it's hard to get there. It's extremely hard to stay there. I've always said this at whatever school I was at, uh, and I think we worked hard. It probably took a year or two longer than I wanted. Uh, from a standpoint of injuries or whatever, but uh, I think the the affiliation with the American Conference has really helped the the national recognition because of ESPN obviously being on on national TV as compared we weren't as much with Conference USA, so that's helped nationally. And uh, I think that it's I think next year uh, you know looking at the team back they'll be formidable, very solid. Uh, but again, we want to get through this year first, but uh, I'm very proud of what's going on just from a facility standpoint, a graduation standpoint, pretty much everything. We try to stay out of the papers with with problems, all right? And the kids have done pretty much a good job that way, but it's hard. You gotta, you know, you, know, you, you somewhat have to be a dictator as far as, you know, and uh, everybody's treated the same and the kid and the players understand that. and. But I think is that's the culture that we have here now. And I, I spoke to the kids last night about the culture of this team. Is we're a lunch pail outfit. We come to practice. You cross the white line. It's work. You know, we're not we're not ordering a catering. It's not coming in. You better bring your own lunch with you. And that's how we practice. How do you guys keep the result of Thursday's game from? Maybe distracting your focus a little bit towards SMU, knowing you could have a card in your pocket that you could play if something were to go wrong on Saturday. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we we know we we don't we don't really care what happens in that game. We want to win the game on Saturday outright and um, win the conference by ourselves outright. We don't want to back into any kind of bowl game, and um, we play to we play to win. You know, it doesn't matter what the other team does. Whether Louisville wins or not, we're still going out Saturday to win a game. Do you pound home maybe also the fact that SMU is going to be playing to, to keep playing, to get a chance to go to a bowl? They need a sixth win for a bowl game. It's senior day, I'm sure, there. All right, so they got a lot going for themselves there. And But, you know, it's pretty like that pretty much the whole season is you're getting everybody's good shot. But that, that's what it's all about. I mean, I'd rather be in that spot than, than down at the bottom looking up. You know, you always want, if you can be the lead dog, you want to be the lead dog. And we have a chance to go undefeated in the first year in the conference, American Conference. I think that's a, a great tribute to the players and what they've accomplished this year. But we'll have our work cut out for Saturday to get that done. Knights fans, pre-order your bowl tickets by calling 407-UCF-1000 or UCFKnights.com.